Hello guys. So real estate is really shaping up in areas around Mombasa Road and due to public demand we had to do a future of Mombasa Road. So today we'll be taking you through the neighborhood guide and the real estate in general and how it's shaping up in in areas around Mombasa Road. Here where we are, as you can see, we are just approaching the first, the, uh, this is the terminal in Helsilasi, and we'll be exploring different properties around Mombasa. So this is, this is comprising of Siokimau, we'll go to the River, we'll go to uh, South Sea, South B, just to show you how property is actually shaping up in Mombasa. Road. And uh, why is also a good place to invest. So one thing is, the expressway really shaped the conversation of property investment in Mombasa Road uh, because of, you know, infrastructure always shapes up a conversation around any area in terms of proximity to so many uh, shopping amenities and facilities. Because for instance, let's say you're driving from, you live in Mombasa Road and driving all the way to town or Westlands, it will cost, you'll take literally like five minutes or so right now because you see the way the expressway is you won't experience any traffic or any delays on the road like we used to for some of us that you know how Mombasa Road used to be before uh, the expansion or the construction of the expressway and major uh, other roads like the Eastern Bypass and the rest it has actually made accessibility to any or areas around Mombasa are very, 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 very effective. For instance, approaching or even getting to the airport nowadays is also very, very easy compared to how it was sometimes back. You can literally drive from Loving to any other area to, to the airport, just five or ten minutes drive, which is an amazing bit. So where we are, as you can see, we are on the expressway. And will take us literally. We will we will we'll try to estimate the time frame because we've just gotten in from the Hell Silasi entry point that's closer to Nairobi CBD. And uh, our first exit point will be in Siokimau uh, Gateway Mall. That's actually where we'll feature our uh, showcase our first property. And uh, we will do an estimation of time because right now it's is literally some few minutes from 1 p.m. Uh, we'll get to see how long it will take us from the first entry point in El Silasi to Siokimau Gateway Mall, contrary to how it was before. Because with the normal kind of road, it will it actually it will take you around 30 35 minutes, but it also depends when if there was traffic or not. So let's try and see if the expressway has been a big boost to saving time because if it's says saving time is actually what people are looking for convenience and all the same so stay tuned as we try to explore this area more
So we have just existed just before the gateway mall. In fact, we have here is the road uh, behind the gateway mall. So as you can see, when I was here, sometimes like five years ago, or even three years ago, the road was not yet tarmacked. But right now, as you can see, they have already tarmacked this road. So, which makes it much easier to access uh, the apartments or the townhouses around this area. So, right now I can see the state of the infrastructure is, is actually good compared to how it was some few years ago. And uh, right on this road, uh, there are quite a number of uh, schools also. So, most of the residents around this area are depending mostly on uh, the key roads are one on inch road, there is uh, uh, Chaldi Road and the Katani Road. All of them are depending on the Gateway Mall. That's actually the, the nearest shopping facility where they can get their groceries, do their shopping and get any necessary essential service. So this is also one of the key factors that also makes properties around Siokimao and any other area. Uh, having close proximity to any shopping facility is a plus and uh, an addition on essential for any other property around this area. So stay tuned as we explore more. We are almost getting to the first site, which is on Chadi Road. So just stay tuned as we try and explore this area. We're in the first development in Sikimao, comprising of two and three bedroom apartments for sale, two bedrooms going for uh, 8 million, that is 110 square meter in size, and three bedrooms going for 10 million, that is 145, 145 square meter in size. So as you can see the exterior space, the whole entire estate, as I said, comprises of two and three bedroom apartments. And uh, construction has already commenced, and the first uh, two blocks, not even the first blocks, actually the first place will be delivered in April next year. April, around April, latest June next year. But still, there are two more phases which will groundbreak and ongoing, as you can see. So, that one it means they'll be delivered in a period of one to two years. So, you still have for any person looking for a longer payment plan. For somebody looking for a payment plan that is much nearer, uh, right now, from now till next year, around June or April, thereabouts. That's less than one year. But unless you're looking for a longer payment plan, we still have. Another phase is actually starting up. So within the estate, there'll be a backup, full backup generator, there'll be a swimming pool, there'll be a clubhouse, there'll be a borehole. There are, there are also spaces allocated for the commercial spaces, for the shops. So in case you also want to purchase the shops, there's still some few availability on the shops as well. So this entire estate is just located some few minutes from the airport and just behind Gateway Mall. So let's explore the interior space. This development comprises of two and three bedroom units. And where we are right now is a three bedroom apartment, 145 square meter in size. So this specific apartment goes for 10 million Kenya shillings. But you can see where we are is a spacious lounge area, which can fit a five seater. And also opens up to a very spacious balcony on this other side. The balcony is quite spacious as well. And uh, you can fit your all outdoor furniture. Where we are, just next to the lounge area, is a spacious dining table. This is the dining area where the dining table is placed. This is like a five-seater dining table. However, six-seater can still fit perfectly well. So come with me as we try to explore the kitchen area. The kitchen is a closed type of kitchen, as you can see, and it comes fitted the way it is. This is a four burner, comes with the extractor, comes with the oven, all the same, but doesn't come with the fridge, as you can see. So for the fridge, but it still has an allocation for a bigger size of fridge, as you can see where it has it is here. Next to it, there's also a pantry. So that's more addition in terms of storage, apart from the kitchen cabinets that you can see all around this kind of a kitchen setup. It comes with this double type of kitchen sink and one 
good thing that I like about it is also the quality in terms of the finish. Because the countertops are granite, all around is a granite kind of countertops, and the kind of boards here is actually the good quality heavy duty kind of uh, uh, boards that have been used in the kitchen uh, cabinets. So come with me as we explore the laundry area. Imagine now all of this space is allocated for the laundry area. This is the washing area. You can you will place your washing machine there, where we have where the, we have actually done one. That's for our own staging. It doesn't come with it. And uh, the whole of this space is where you can do your washing. It is actually where you can do your laundry. You can also install your rails here, where because you can hang your clothes here. So your hanging lines will be on this space as well. So come with me as we also try and explore the bedrooms, get to see how spacious they are and how the design and the layout has been factored in in terms of coming up with this kind of unit. So come with me. The three other bedrooms are separated from the main lounge area with this kind of a spacious corridor. So on my right side is the first bedroom. So this bedroom uses the guest clock room. So it doesn't come in suite. However, the two other bedrooms come in suite. So as you can see, there's a queen size bed rather with two bedside drawers the wardrobe space is on the other side and still you have space to move around uh, it comes also with this kind of windows they are large windows that allow natural lighting and one good thing that i like about this specific unit so the estate comes with different set of blocks but the blocks are far away from each other so each and every unit comes with good natural lighting so however you overlook the other block but there's huge space so you don't feel like your neighbor will be able to see you or you're closer to another block which will obstruct the lighting. So come with me as we try to explore these other uh, bedrooms. So here, this is actually the guest clock home, which still serves the first bedroom. So still the guest clock home, but still serves that other bedroom. Like I said, the two other bedrooms come in suite. So this is the other bedroom, the second bedroom, rather. So the second bedroom is in suite, as I said. It can feed a queen size bed or a king size bed as well with the best drawers on this other side. So one specific thing that I'd like you to factor in is try and uh, try to analyze the kind of finishes, the kind of space, the kind of design, and the kind of setup that this developer tried to put together to try and, and deliver a perfect unit or the same. So this is the master bedroom. And the master bedroom also comes with a queen size or a king size bed. The way you want to stage it, the way you want to put it up still have space to do it. You can see on the other side, there's a, a enough wardrobe space and opens up to a spacious balcony, all the same. So two balconies in this house, the first balcony on the living area, the second balcony on the bedroom. And this master bedroom also is in suit, as you can see. So for 145 square meter, two rooms in suit, a price of 10 million Kenya shillings. And as you can see, the estate is in a good and serene location, just behind Gateway Mall. We're in this prestigious location in Mombasa Road, just behind Signature Mall in Sabaji. So here we have two deals, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom units. A one bedroom, a studio apartment here will cost you 2.3 million Kenya shillings. A one bedroom will cost you 3.9 million Kenya shillings. Two bedroom will cost you 6 million Kenya shillings. And a three bedroom will cost you 7.5 million Kenya shillings. As you can see from this prestigious complex, some of the amenities include a backup, full backup generator. They also have a swimming pool. There's a clubhouse. There's a fully fitted gym. There's ample parking area for the residents. Also, due to the nature of, because you're trying also to make the family, to cater for the families here, there is a kids play area for the estate. One good thing I also like about it is the security area. Because there's a full, there's a perimeter wall around the estate with the CCTV areas in key access points. There's also an electric fence all around the perimeter wall. So this is one of the best apartments within this area you can say because you're trying to explore different apartments and it also gives you a flexibility in terms of payment so come with me as we try to explore different shows of the two and three bedroom units a 
as I'd mentioned earlier, this complex comprises of studios, one, two, and three bedroom apartments. So where we are right now is the two bedroom apartments. So these are two bedroom apartments, and uh, with the, both of the two rooms are in suit. So it's two bedroom, three bath, 90 square meter in size. And as you can see where I am, is just right from the door on my left side is a spacious uh, launch area, which has fitted actually from the staging, we have just fitted, this is actually a five-seater type of L-shaped type of coach, but already you have space to move around. A coffee table there, the TV on this other side, as you can see, and opens up to a spacious balcony on this other side. So the spacious, the balcony is also spacious enough, and it has fitted uh, two seats, one round table, which is just enough for your outdoor furniture. Another thing also, next to it, is a five-seater it's a four-seater from here we've done a four-seater but you can fit a five-seater or rather six-seater type of dining table uh one good thing i like about it is actually the design and style because right from the launch area the dining area is quite separate and uh, you don't feel like you're congested so it's good use of space from the developer another thing about it because we normally get different fibre from different clients the some will like open plan type of kitchen, the some will like closed type of kitchen. So what the developer did, he tried actually to link both options and cut across both clients. Because here, it's more like an, uh, if you want an open plan type of kitchen, what you need to do is just get rid of uh, this aluminium sliding door. Or rather, if you want a closed type of kitchen, it will still remain. So come with me as we explore the kitchen. It's absolutely good use of space. As you can see, the kitchen cabinets are enough. Uh, we still have both the ones that are on top, closer to the ceiling, and some of them that are beneath now the countertops. And uh, also the space allocated for the cooker is enough because it's a six burner type of cooker. Also the space allocated for the fridge. As per our staging, you can see that's a double door type of fridge, which can still fit comfortably. And uh, the, the granite countertops, these actually the countertops are granite in terms of the material used, so uh, I can say it's good use of the finishing. The finishing is good. The space is good. Uh, the, the the styling and the design is good as well. Also, it opens up to a spacious laundry area. It's good size for your washing machine or a space where you can do your laundry comfortably, and even have a little bit of some hanging lines here for your clothes. So, what more can you ask for? So. I'd like you to comment about this kind of space. We have showcased quite a number of houses. What do you think about this kind of space? Is it a good use of space, both from the living area, uh, the kitchen, the laundry area, and all those kind of spaces? Was the developer thoughtful? So let's continue exploring this house. So we have two more bedrooms to go, so come with me. From this corridor on my left side, this is the guest clock room. So the guest clock room will actually serve your visitors. Since both of the rooms are in suit, so it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus this guest clock room. So let's go to the first bedroom, which is rather the guest bedroom. This bedroom comes in suit, as you can see. And also, the size is, the space, it's actually sizable and spacious enough. Here, from the staging, this is actually a queen-size type of bed with two bedside drawers. However, you can also fit a king size type of bed with enough wardrobes here. I think this is good use of space, absolute good use of space, both from this bedroom and imagine this 90 square meter in size. So you have tried as much as possible to make you feel homely and comfortable all the same. So come with me as we also try and explore the master bedroom. The master bedroom also comes in suite, as you can see. And uh, the space is enough for this is also a queen size. However, a king size bed can still fit with, the, uh, I think, one bedside drawer. The queen size will fit with two bedside drawers. And you still, as you can see, you still have space to move around. I'm moving comfortably without colliding in any other space. As you can see, also, we had the space there where you can either do a console or either do a makeup table or a small study table. Also, just try and look at the enough uh, 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 wardrobe space so the thought here was you can either choose to make this your master bedroom or the other room because they are almost equally the same and all of them comes in suit so for the people let's say you want to venture to the Airbnb type of business because there are different people who want to rent this 
as separate rooms. Having both rooms in suit is actually a plus because you might close one room, not even close one room, you might rent that one room since the guests there will not be able to come out to, to access the washroom, they'll have their own separate washroom. Rent the master bedroom separate and they also rent the guest bedroom separate since all of them are in suit. That's a plus as well because both rooms come in suit. Or rather, if you're living here also, that aspect of privacy is also catered for. For your guests will have their own private washroom, your master bedroom also. You, you as the owner of the house, will not be able to share the same washroom with your guest. That's actually an amazing aspect and thoughtful. I can actually comment that the developer was very thoughtful in terms of the design and layout of this unit. So another impressive thing, as I say, imagine getting this unit for only six million. Two bedroom, three bathrooms, for only six million Kenya shillings. And you have a payment plan of up to two years, just to 20, deposit 20% 20 and then the balance for a period of two years. That's an amazing concept. So, Stay tuned as we also explore the three bedrooms in this complex. This specific unit comes precious as it is. The three bedrooms here. Then two different sizes. There's a three bedroom, 119, 119 square meter in size, which cost, will cost you 7.5 million Kenya shillings. There's also a three bedroom plus a DSQ, uh, that is 139 square meter in size, which will cost you 9 million Kenya shillings. So where we are is the lounge area. You can see it's spacious enough. From the staging, it has fitted. This is a six seater type of L shaped type of coach. Still have space to move around. Next to it on my right side is the dining area. This is a five seater dining area and which is also spacious enough you can see i'm able to move around comfortably and also it opens up to a spacious balcony on this other side so the balcony is spacious as well you can fit your swing chair here comfortably and still you can have your outdoor chairs and a table which makes the space homely or the same it comes with a spacious kitchen as you can see just look at this kitchen with enough kitchen cabinets just above and beneath there's a space here segmented for a six burner there's a double fridge on the other side just similar arrangement as the two bedrooms the developer was very generous when it comes to when it comes to the kitchen because you see this is actually where most of our clients who are ladies not even ladies even men they actually put a lot of attention when it comes to the kitchen what is the size of the kitchen is it a closed type of kitchen is it an open plan type of kitchen so having a generous type of kitchen Please adds up, adds the value to this type of an apartment also. It also opens up to a spacious lounge area. This is where you can install your washing machine and do your laundries. Another amazing thing about this unit, come with me. This is a three bedroom, it comes with an SQ. And SQ is just right beside the laundry area. And it's sizable enough. From the staging, these are three, three, three by six, or rather three and a half are still fit, uh, of which it comes with this wardrobe space as well, and it comes in suit with a shower cubicle. Stink is also there, and a toilet as well. So let's also explore the rest of the other three rooms in this house: the master, the guest bedroom, and the other, which can also be the kids' room, or rather the rest of the other room. So come with me. This is where the rest of the other three bedrooms are. So from where I'm standing, on my left side, this can serve as the guest clock room, or rather can serve this first, which is the guest bedroom. So the guest bedroom uses that bedroom. As I said earlier, the two, two other rooms, the master bedroom and the second bedroom, all of them come in suite. So from where I'm standing, you can see the type of bed that is here. This is actually a queen size type of bed, and it has fitted comfortably with enough wardrobe space on the, on the other side. The windows are also good. You know, mostly we insist on big and huge windows for natural lighting. Also come with me on this other side. This is the second bedroom. The best thing about this unit also, since the two bedrooms come in suite, you can choose whether to have this as your master bedroom or the other bedroom, because all of them are equally the same size and they come in suite, as you can see. 
This is a queen size type of bed. However, a king size can still fit. Enough wardrobe space on this other side and still you have space to move around. So let's explore the last bedroom. So this bedroom, as you can see, it comes in suite. The way it is, it's spacious enough as well. With a king size type of bed. And also the space is huge. You can fit one coach here. You can either choose to put a makeup table. Oh, the makeup table is here. We still have space for the makeup table. I think I'll go for this as my master bed. Because it's, it's, it's actually much bigger compared to the other one. The wardrobe space is also, I think, bigger compared to the other one. So I'll go for this as my master bed. Huge, spacious enough. Uh, you can do your uh, five by six type of bed, six by six. You have a space here, you can do your coach as well. You can install your makeup table, study table on the other place. So what are you looking for? Imagine having this kind of space for only, from how much? From 7.5 million, which is a negotiable price. 7.5 million. You only do 20% of the season. And you have up to two years to do your installment. Imagine owning this unit in a prestigious location in Mombasa Road. Just be an signature mall. So still in Sabaki is this development, which comprises of studios, one, two, and three bedroom apartments. So studios go for 2.7 million Kenya shillings. A one bedroom will cost you 3.7 million Kenya shillings. A two bedroom will cost you 5 million. And a three bedroom will cost you from 6.7 million Kenya shillings. So look at this development. It has already started, of which the completion date will be 15 months from now. So it means you actually deposit 20% and pay the balance in 15 months period. So already there is already show house of which we'll explore the different show houses. So come with me. Still in Sabaki in this project, eh? this is a studio apartment for sale, which goes for 2.7 million Kenya shillings, 37 square meter in size. So where you are, right from the door, there is this narrow corridor and a kitchenette on this other side. The, so the kitchen comes fitted, as you can see, with a two burner and an extractor. It comes with this single type of sink and on my right side is the washroom. So the washroom comes with a shower cubicle. So come with me as we also try to explore this other side of the launch. So this is where you can actually fit your three-seater, the TV on this other side, and a small coffee table here. So since it's a studio, the wardrobe space has actually been located on the other side of the, uh, the living area. And on this side is where you can fit your... This is a queen-size type of bed. It's one bedside drawer. And also you have space on this other side where you can do a makeup table or a study table. One good thing about it is also the type of windows. These are huge windows that allow good natural lighting. So as an investment option, I can say this one will fetch you roughly per month if it's unfurnished. It will fetch you around 20 to 25,000 a month. This is a good investment based on the initial cost of this unit because it only goes for 2.7 million Kenya shillings. So come with me as we try to also to explore the one bedroom.
So here we are in a one bedroom, 55 square meter in size, going for 3.5 million chemistry. So as you can see, it's actually a functional space. There is a four seater dining set here, and next to it is actually the kitchenette, which comes fitted with a two burner and an extractor. Also on this other side is the lounge area, which can fit a three seater, a coffee table is on this other side. And this is actually where you can place your TV. Whichever size you want, 55, 60, 65, whichever which one, but whichever makes you happy. It also opens up to a spacious balcony, as you can see, with amazing views of the larger Kabaki and the river area. Another thing about it also, come with me as we try to explore the bedroom. The size of the bedroom is amazing. As you can see, these are queen size type of bed with one bedside drawer, and there's ample wardrobe space. Another good thing about it, you can actually see how bright this space is. Enough for natural lighting. This attributed to these large, huge windows is also amazing views of the larger Sabaki area. So, this is one bedroom, 55 square meter in size, and it will cost you 3.5 million Kenya shillings. Ideal for investment, Airbnb type of business, or rather, if you're just a single person, it's a good space where you can live in. So, the rental income here is between 25,000 to 30,000, which is quite, it makes a lot of sense based on the asking price of the specific unit for, which is going for 3.5 million. So come with me and also try to explore the other units as well. When this development in Sukimau, just a few minutes from the airport, that's like around five minutes uh, drive from the airport to here. So the developer here has already completed like two other phases. So, but currently, as you can see, there are three more other phases that are ongoing. From this specific development, it comprises of two bedrooms and three bedrooms. Three bedrooms comes in different versions. There's also a four be three bedrooms, duplexes or penthouses. There's also four bedrooms and five bedroom penthouses. So from the initial uh, phase, the smallest it is is a two bedroom, as, as well as the current phase. So two bedrooms here cost, they cost from around 8.5 million Kenya shillings, and three bedrooms will cost you from 13 million Kenya shillings. This estate comes with a full backup generator. There's a kids play area. There is a borehole. There is a swimming pool. And there is a commercial center where there are various shops there, like a grocery shop and all that. Just convenient shops for the rest of us who are going to live in this kind of estate. We are right now is a three bedroom so three bedrooms comes in three different types so there's a three bedroom 143 square meter that's a three bedroom without a dsq then there's a three bedroom in the dsq which is slightly bigger for around one in the three square meter thereabouts then there's also a three bedroom plus dsq which is a duplex a, a penthouse so four those are on the higher floors eh? and slightly bigger that's from 18 million pension so this is actually one of the show houses for the three bedroom and as you can see I emphasized on space while touring the two bedrooms. So space also was factored in this kind of unit. You can see it has fitted a, this is a five seater. However, six seater, seven seater can still fit perfectly well. Also, you can see where the coffee table is and where the TV is. There's actually ample space to move around. Another good thing that I like about it is also the design eh? uh, in the sense that uh, from the door, is the launch area then the launch area also opens up to a spacious balcony this is the balcony 
and as you can see it's enough it's enough size it can fit your outdoor uh furniture perfectly well that's like two chairs or three chairs plus one round table or a stool and it stretches all the way to the other bedroom so imagine having all this space just for the balcony because it's a double size type of balcony switching from the sitting room and it still has an access from the bedroom side so another emphasis on space so come with me as we also try to explore this other space where the dining table is this is a dining area perfect size good size from the staging we have actually decided to do this a six seater however without that console table there you can even do an eight seater or rather even a 10 seater because you can use all the space from here to the other side because it opens up to this spacious laundry area this is where you can install your laundry machine perfectly well and it still has exit or the entrance to the kitchen the same way the two bedroom was styled also it's the same way where this kitchen set comes as well so it comes it's like a semi-open type of kitchen it gives you the privacy if you're cooking here your visitors from the other side cannot be able to see you so it's kind of a cross type of kitchen and it comes fitted as you can see with the extractor the five burner and oven on the other side with nice and quality kind of kitchen counter this is actually granite with enough wardrobe cabinets as well so just the, in, enough enough i mean enough kitchen cabinets with two type of double sink on this side and upper space for the fridge on the other side so what can you say about space was it factored in when coming up with this kind of a kitchen i feel the developer was very generous in terms of space because for a 143 square meter in terms of size was generally in trying to distribute the spaces all different sections of the house the kitchen the dining area the lounge and uh, the bedrooms all the same so we also have a spacious corridor as you can see it's wide it's huge it's long and it separates the lounge area from the rest of the other bedrooms so come with me as you still try to explore the different sections of the bedrooms So this is the first bedroom or rather the guest bedroom which it doesn't come in suite because it uses the guest clock room which is actually outside i'll show you but uh, what can you say about this kind of space it is fitted uh, this is a king size type of bed with two bedside drawers so space again you still have ample space to move around you can either install your dining sorry not your dining table i mean uh, your makeup table here or your study table perfectly well and also look at the windows huge windows the wall to ceiling type of windows allowing good natural lighting there's also ample wardrobe space on the other side so here if you don't want to do a king size bed you still have a provision where you can do two beds p and a half let's say you you have like more than four children or even five or six this space is also enough for you because for the other three bedrooms you just spare the master bedroom for you then between the two other bedrooms you can distribute your kids evenly okay so come with me like i told you this room is not in suite so it looks the guest clock home the guest clock home is just at the start of this long corridor and it's on my left side from where i stand eh? which serves this room as well the rest of the two other rooms all of them they come in suite so as you can see this is one of the bedrooms which enjoys the balcony space because it opens up to the balcony which stretches all the way from the living area to this room so you can either decide to make this your master bedroom or rather the other last room which is equally the same size as this can be your master bedroom because it comes in suite as you can see and the space is also quite huge 
because these are king size type of bed two bedside drawers and you still have space to do a little bit of your coach here or rather if you don't want to put them here so that you can have enough space to actually access the balcony you can still do your outdoor furniture on the other side so space is also factored in i insist on space when trying to tour or analyze this kind of unit so come with me as you also try to explore the master bedroom this is the master bedroom or like i said if you don't want this to be the master bedroom the other room can equally be the master bedroom because both of them come in suit mostly generally like the the same size because also as you can see here we also have a queen these are king size the two bedside drawers the wardrobes are same size as the other room as well and you still also have a space to fit one ashen chair here and the type of windows for all the rooms are the type the huge windows the floor to ceiling type of huge windows so each and every room is catered for in terms of light all of the rooms are well lit as you can see you can just you can also comment and tell me which room do you feel is more spacious out of the three rooms so which one can you make the master between this one or the other room okay so come with me so within this same complex like i told you it only comprises of two and three bedrooms two bedrooms there are two different designs there's only the balcony another in the balcony the three bedrooms they come also in three different sizes there's one without uh, an sq there's a three bedroom without an sq one for three square meter in size three bedroom with an sq slightly bigger for 180 and also the penthouses or the duplexes which are on the highest floors so do you feel this real value for money in siokimau one good thing about it is even much closer to the airport like roughly around five minutes To mark the highlight of our Mombasa road tour is this development located in Siokimau. Just a few minutes away from the airport, this is like a five minutes drive from the airport. It comprises of studios, one bedroom and two bedroom units. So studios are 39 square meter in size and will cost you 3.9 million Kenya shillings. A one bedroom which is 55 square meter in size will cost you 4.7 million Kenya shillings. And a two bedroom which is 85 square meter in size will cost you 7.5 million Kenya shillings. This is actually the shores for the two bedroom units, 85 square meter in size. So what can you comment about the space of this definite unit? You can see the lounge area is quite spacious. There's the dining area on this other side. The kitchen is open plan type of concept. But be keen on the type of finishing, the type of the quality that the developers try to put up trying to deliver this specific unit. One major issue I'll try to encourage all of our investors and all of our followers is try and explore the Mombasa Road area. It's actually shaping up, it's coming up. There are new developments which offer great returns. For instance, a two bedroom like this will actually fetch you 55,000, 60,000 Kenya shillings if you're unfurnished. And with, if it is furnished, it will fetch you double that amount. So based on our highlight of our tour, I would like to insist Property, of course, is based on location. 
But the way Mombasa Road is coming up with all these new properties is also a, it's also a place to consider when it comes to investment or looking for a home or a place which you can actually live in and raise a family. Because with all these amenities, with all the infrastructure, close proximity to so many social amenities, there are so many malls around this area. We just featured Signature Mall, we featured uh, which other mall? They featured the Gateway Mall and all other shopping amenities within the same location. So stay tuned as we try to explore more and we'll try to give you more insights of which are the likely places or the best places where you can put your money and there's real value for money. Thank you. We at Sarabi take time to analyze the real estate market and provide in-depth analysis of the real estate market trends. It is very important for any prospective buyer to be well informed before making this crucial decision. Stay tuned for more discussion and analysis on the current and emerging real estate trends.